Hello, my name is Ita Marinho and I will talk about motion planning and reproducing kernel Hilbert spaces and this is joint work done with my co-authors. So here we want to study how to optimize a trajectory in function space, but instead of searching over the space of all possible trajectories, we plan in a more restricted space, where we trade off representational power for efficiency. And typical approaches optimize trajectories as functions, but they commit in practice to a discretized version, where a trajectory is considered as a series of waypoints or interpolated waypoints. And here we intend to represent trajectories in function space directly. We consider reproducing kernel Hilbert spaces, which impose more structure in favor of an inherently smooth space, and this work subsumes previous work because we can represent interpolated waypoints as a specific kernel, and we still generalize this to arbitrary reproducing kernels. And the practical implications is that we need fewer parameters to represent the trajectory, we can take larger step sizes without breaking smoothness, and we get faster convergence, meaning we converge into fewer iterations. And here is an example of a trajectory represented as a waypoint using another functional gradient optimizer, jump. And we can see that you, you have this extraneous motion of the arm if we take large step sizes. And we want to mitigate this problem by addressing trajectories directly as functions in RKHSs. And a trajectory in an RKHS is simply a sum of weighted kernel functions centered around different time points. So consider this example where we have circular obstacles and these lines correspond to the isocontours of the obstacle cost and we get high cost for dark regions and low cost for lighter regions. And let's say our trajectory is parameterized by three time points and we start from a straight line trajectory and now consider perturbations around each of these time points. And the perturbations affect all the other points in the trajectory and the way it propagates through the trajectory depends on the nature of the kernel and the width or the parameters of the kernel. And the amplitude of the perturbation is given by the cost gradient at that particular point. So meaning we have larger steps, we have larger amplitudes for regions that get us away from obstacles faster. Then we take a step in this direction, in the negative gradient direction, and we hope to get further and further away from obstacles. And we do this for each of the time points that represent our trajectory. And in the end, our trajectory will simply be a sum of kernel perturbations centered around each of these time points. So in this work, we optimize a trajectory locally by minimizing a cost functional and we provide an iterative form of updating the trajectory. We show that taking steps in the negative gradient of the cost functional can also be represented as a sum of kernel functions. And so the trajectory is simply built by aggregating more and more kernel perturbations around new time points. And this gradient can be computed analytically and the update rule has a closed form solution, so it is fast and efficient to compute. And in the end, our trajectory is simply a weighted sum of these kernel perturbations. In practice, planning in our KHSs allow us to use just a few time points to represent the trajectory, and we can take larger step sizes without breaking smoothness. We converge in fewer iterations compared to the previous work, which hump, which need more iterations and more supporting points to achieve a similar solution. We also show some results in more complex scenarios and higher dimensional spaces, we experimented with a seven degree of freedom arm with different kernels, where each kernel has an associated notion of smoothness or efficiency. So here we show uh, kernels that optimize joints independently and others that optimize uh, interactions among joints. And we show as well a kernel that penalizes more for sort of derivatives, so the trajectory will be smoother in velocity space. And we can see in the video that this kernel achieves a very smooth trajectory because the space we're planning is already smooth by construction, so it has the re required properties we want for the trajectory. So in this work, we propose a general framework that allows to plan in function space directly, and depending on the norm of the space, we would optimize for different types of motion. We further derive an efficient update rule that optimizes the trajectory locally. And please refer to the paper if you want to know more about planning in RKHSs. Thank you.